everyone, welcome back to Sand Shed Beast Quiz for fun. It's a big fun, as we always say. Look, response has been fantastic. Anyway, don't worry about the response of the fun. How are you all doing? You all doing fine? You all keeping out there? You all going lots of walks with the kids, you know? Have you noticed something when you've got the countryside for a walk? Have you noticed the smell? And people like doing that, isn't it? They're going to walk and it smells. Especially when they muck spreading, like, you know? And with the preview, they go, oh, that's lovely, that is. Do you think that's weird? Is it, is it just me that likes that? Am I the only one who likes the smell of horse or manure being chucked around the fields? It's a weird smell. And silage. The smell of silage. Is that weird as well? They like the smell of that. I don't know. I was brought up with them smells, so maybe it takes me back when I was a kid and I used to work on a, on a farm when I was when I was a duck, like, you know, when I was a young teenager before that. But anyway, apart from all that, all this all the smell of poo, right? We've got a fabulous bass player tonight from up Sheffield. His name is uh, Neil Newsom. He plays in a Spanner Valley Troop band. No, I've never seen a Spanner Valley Troop band, band until I go with this guy. The band is called True Gold. Uh, works really cool. Like, check him out. Google him and have a little look to see whether they like True Gold, Spanner Valley Troop band. And also, he, he plays in a, a theatre show as well, which is called <clears throat> Gold Rio. Or True Rio? No, Gold Rio. It's a theatre show which is a Duran Duran and Spanner Valley sort of theatre show production thingy. Like, you know, he's, he's, he's in that as well, like, you know, which is great because some people only got time for one, one band or one project. See, now I might have two going now, I'm not sure, but, you know, those got things in different pies. And we, our session players manage and they play in all different sorts of bands. I don't know. How do, how do you manage our Phil Court? You do a lot of that. I don't know. How do you manage when you're playing? That's a lot to learn, a lot of stuff. Uh, Still, if you haven't got a, a normal job like the rest of us have, have I got a normal job? Friends who know me and know I haven't got a normal job. Friends who know me know that I'm not normal as well, but that's another story, all right? So anyway, Neil sent these three great bass tracks, all these two brilliant basses, or great looking basses. Um, I can't remember the one, the name of the one, but I know the one's a Warwick, fretless, um, it's a standard German, one, uh, that's a nice piece of kit that one is, like, you know. Um, and the other one, not quite sure, <clears throat> not quite sure the name of that one, but I'm sure my bass geek, my bass geek buddy Daryl Cook will tell me all about that one, I should imagine you will. You know, he's up on his pretty looking basses and stuff like that. He'd tell me what pickups are in as well, I expect he will, and what sort of back he's going to back of it, or what, you know, he's in all that nonsense. But anyway, 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 back to it, back to it. Neil, thanks very much for taking the time out at uh, times like this to send these three lovely bass tracks over for everybody to watch. And um, get entertained by, you know, um, you seem a really nice guy. It'd be great if I could meet you all in person. Like, I meet got so many friends on Facebook. Nice to get him in a big club somewhere and have a couple of babies with everybody, you know, have a little boogie, like, you know. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> do I go on? Did I? Terrible, didn't I? Anyway, three lovely bass tracks sent over. Neil, i got to shut up now. It's over to you. <laughs> Neil, thanks very much. I can't thank anybody enough who sends, takes the time out to send these lovely bass tracks over for us and gets involved in it. You know, said shared bass because of fun. Like, it is only fun. It doesn't matter what standard you are, you could be fantastic. 
you know, you can play three notes or 20 notes, it doesn't matter. In time, out of time, you know, it doesn't matter. We're all having a crack and we're playing together. All us bass players, you know, all the bottom end people are playing some bass down for us. Neil put some great bass lines down for us then. If you know them, put them in the comments below. And I'm sure I I know two of them. I know two of them. It's pretty good for me, that is, you know. The first one I want, I'm quite sure of the first one. But I knew the two of them for definite. Because I was big fans of the middle one. One of my favourite bands when I was a bit younger, like, you know. I'm feeling young now, man. I'm only 52, so, you know, don't be put off by the, the makeup I'd wear now, like, you know. Oh, do I go on? Anyway, Neil, thanks very much for sending them over. And all you shedheads out there, let's see your comments below, is it? And we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you.